A little earlier, we talked about a new study that says in a small portion of kids, picky eating may signal emotional troubles mm -hmm. that should be checked out. About one in five preschool age children are either extremely selective about what they eat or they have less severe pickiness, which, boy, if this doesn't give your preschooler a complex, you're, <laughs> you have moderate selected eating. So kids uh -huh. with either of these levels of pickiness were almost two times more likely than others to develop anxiety symptoms. And that's mostly because of dad yelling, eat all of your dinner. Yeah, yep. quit yelling at your kids, Jason. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we got your feedback. Uh, Natalie says, grow veggies with your kid. They take great pride in helping. Ours gobbles up everything she helped to plant and water. We've had that experience too. The kids love like grab a zucchini right off the plant and just chop it. So that that's good advice. Lisa said my parents always made us eat a no thank you helping. So it was basically a spoonful taste. We weren't allowed to say something tasted icky just because we thought it looked icky and we did that with our kids too. Something you have to try. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And Joy said for my kids, grandkids, try one new thing from the grocery store. Sometimes I paid my boys 25 cents for a bite. <laughs> then they could see if they liked it. They pretty much ate everything. Yeah. The That's farmers cool. market in Maple Grove, they have a program where kids, they'll give kids $2 and you can go, the kids do the shopping and they found that kids do buy vegetables that are different things that they wouldn't and then they ate it they eat it because they bought it oh they get to make the choice they get to make the choice interesting yeah very cool well what